Today, we are we are pulling up the modded SFS that I have that has all the planets. And we're gonna go to Saturn and see like what the rings look like. I think we're gonna try to go to Titan because that's supposed to have like methane lakes. If you're watching on YouTube, the link will be in the description for this mod. It's the same one if you see the Uranus video on YouTube. It's the same mod as that one. Here we are in Space Flight Simulator. We are gonna see Saturn's rings. The goal is go to Saturn, look at the rings, probably land on Titan. So I think we're gonna send a probe. Okay, so last time, this was our Uranus rocket, right? Last time we played on the save and we went to all of Uranus's moons, but we're gonna start over. I just wanna see the map. Uh, so we're gonna go for Saturn today and I want to land on Titan because that's like the coolest moon, I think. It's got methane lakes. So I wanna see if the mod has those built in. And I also wanna fly close enough to see if the mod has the rings. Send a probe into Saturn and see what happens. That's not a bad idea. Maybe we could build a rocket that has two probes. One of them lands on Titan one of them flies into saturn revert to build let's get building i like that idea we're gonna do two probes one probe to land on titan one probe to fly into saturn to see what happens this will be the one that goes into saturn so we need some sort of engine but we also want a heat shield just so we can get as far into saturn as possible um so maybe just something like this and then we want it probably wider here let's go like something like this because we want a decent amount of fuel because slowing down a lot actually takes a lot of fuel so maybe just something like this and then we put ion engines the thrust doesn't really matter it just needs to slow down enough to hit saturn i think this is probably a little too much fuel actually because we want to make it as small as possible because the extra weight's going to be hard to carry over i think just this works okay so how do we want to do this so this is the one that's going to enter saturn I think this is going to be the very top of the rocket. So maybe we just do a docking port then and then a aerodynamic cone that we can pop off. So this will be the very top of the rocket. Yeah, that works. OK, let's design the lander probe. Um, so we need another probe core. So for this lander, we probably want a little bit more fuel because this one actually has to land. That's probably enough. And then for our engines, we want probably Probably the Valiant. So something just like this. I think we do want RCS on this one. Is this enough? Just this, probably. Okay, those are our two probes. I think maybe a little bit more fuel. I'm just, I'd rather have too much than not enough, you know? Let's just throw that on just to be safe. Cause that's still not so tall that it's gonna like tip over. Yeah, let's do that. And then these won't clip into that. So that works better too. Okay, so if those are our two probes one to go into saturn one to land on titan then we need a really big transfer stage so let's go probably 10 wide here yeah aerodynamics is that enough for a transfer stage probably one more honestly these are some big transfers we got to do and like getting into orbit maybe let's go 12 wide up the last one here so i can fit three of these Okay, transfer stage with RCS to help with our encounter positioning. So then we need a orbital stage. This one's gonna need a lot of thrust. So probably Titan engines. That still has a positive thrust to weight. We're gonna need a really, really big launch stage, probably similar to what we did with the Uranus and the Jupiter 4 mission where we had really big side boosters. Hide the upper stages in fairings for aerodynamic. Yeah, that's not a terrible idea. I just don't want it to, sometimes fairings scare me. If we do that, then we don't need these. Um, I don't want it clipping into. Does that work? Let's just do a quick test of that. This is just a test to make sure the fairing is gonna work. It looks kind of weird. I don't know if it's actually attached. Okay, it looks like it is. All right, that looks good to me. Okay, so this is orbital stage. Now's the time where we need a really, really massive launch stage. So... Let's go three of these and then end it with one of these so we can fit the maximum amount of Titan engines. As long as the bells aren't clipping, it should be fine. I want it to be even. Okay, like that. And that still takes off, but then we need to build side really, really big. So this is, we're actually doing a two stage launch stage. Okay, let's turn on symmetry for this. And then we want this to stretch out, not like super far, but a far enough that they're not gonna hit each other. I like the look of these thicker ones more. Um, that, and then just one more. Okay, 
Isn't it gonna make it super heavy? Yeah, but this is what I found to be the best. Like when doing the Jupiter 4 mission, I had to do something like this, where we have these really massive side boosters that um, just have a ton of engines on them. I think we don't make them super tall, maybe one shorter. And then instead of having these, let's do these. And then we're going to have two of these on each side and have really big nose cones on each one. And then we just try to stack as many engines as possible right here. Something like this. So it'll look like that on the launch. I'm good with that. Someone said make the Titan Lander orange. Uh, what else should we color this? What should we make the the big boosters on the side? Maybe like a, like black or like checkered or orange. Full rocket black. Okay, I'm down with that. I need to make sure I select the right things. Oh, I will make the lander orange. Oh wait, that kind of looks sick. This orange and then everything else black. How do you feel about that? So it'll look like this on launch. Make some parts silver. We could make the fairing on top silver. That kind of looks weird. I'm not going to lie. Maybe this section silver looks weird. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's stage this up. Do you guys think this is enough? Usually we never get it first try. I'm not going to lie. Um, it usually takes about three rocket redesigns before the mission works, but I don't know what else to fix. I like to see what's wrong and then and then fix it from there. Oh, we should add the little separatron things. Couple of these. All right, um, with this stage, these should activate. Make the Saturn Pro black and white stripes. I got you. So these ones, stripes. So first stage is just these, not this central part. You guys ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, launch. Does successfully launch. That thrust awaits good. I think that's good for our launch gonna get into a clockwise orbit here okay this is looking good we want this to carry us most of the way to space and then this should get us into space completely and probably starting to get us into orbit and then this stage will finish the orbit and if that all goes to plan i think it works if the whole rocket works first try i will be very impressed with myself i don't think i've ever done that okay this looks good okay break these off Separatrons start working. This is looking really good, actually. So we want to start burning sideways to get to orbit. If this stage gets us to orbit, we should have absolutely no problem with the mission because then we can use our orbital stage as our transfer stage. We are going to need a lot of fuel because Saturn has a really big gravity well, not as big as Jupiter. Jupiter was a big problem if you saw the Jupiter 4 mission with how much fuel you need to maneuver your orbit around it. So we actually aim down, that'll raise our PE. And this stage might get us to orbit. No way, no way. Still have our, technically our second stage, but part of our launch stage. Prediction, make it to Saturn orbit. First try. Uh, Saturn mission, Earth orbit. We have to revert. If we revert, it doesn't count as first try. So we need to make sure we're in a transfer window. Um, so let's go Saturn, navigate, and we need to wait for Earth to be in a transfer window, which looks like it'll take <laughs> about a year. Okay, and then we need to be a transferring in our orbit, which is coming up, perfect. I'm actually gonna start burning now because with these bigger orbit uh, transfers, you can miss the transfer. Okay, that's all in that stage. This was our orbital stage, so now we're using this to help us transfer. So we need to accelerate till this is at zero, and then we are on track to meet up with Saturn. Okay, so our orbital stage became our transfer stage. So then we have a second stage just to help with the Saturn orbit, which is perfect. Uh, we'll probably have to dip into it a little bit. Shouldn't be too bad though. Okay, fairing broke open, so there's our two probes. Okay, so we have an encounter with Saturn. So now we wanna adjust that encounter, and Titan's going clockwise, and our orbit is clockwise, perfect. We just want to make sure we're near Titan. All right, there is our encounter. Okay, so now we're going to time warp to here, and then we want to rotate to get us into orbit. A um, little more, and then, so this burn now, if we didn't do anything, we'd fly away from Saturn. So we need to burn and just circularize our orbit around Saturn. So I think since we have so much fuel, we should use this fuel to encounter Titan too. Um, so before we do that, let's do our Saturn probe and crash into Saturn. 
Okay, slow us down, circularize the orbit. Hopefully we're not encountering Titan yet. Let's leave it like that. That looks good. Now, we've made it to Saturn. Prediction was a success. So now we're gonna send our Saturn probe into Saturn. And the prediction will be, make it into Saturn. First try. Can we see Saturn's rings? Ah, there it is. Okay, so we're gonna get really close to that and see what that looks like. That actually looks sick. I'm excited to see. I don't think the rings are a physical object. I'm pretty sure that the uh, the probe will just fly right through it. Okay, so this is our probe we're controlling now. Okay, so full throttle. Just make sure I don't hit this is the main goal. Okay, we shouldn't. These are the most efficient engines in the game, but they're also the least amount of thrust. You can see our it takes a long time for our velocity to change. So this is three three x speed. All right. Yeah, this is very efficient. We're definitely gonna make it into Saturn. I wonder if the rings will do anything. We have a heat shield so we can see how far into Saturn we can go. Saturn has no surface. Yes, it's a gas giant. So this is like an experiment to see what happens in this mod. All right, almost there. You can see it, the, it does take like a lot of Delta V. We were at what, 1500? We do have these really efficient engines which does a lot of the heavy lifting. We didn't even need this much fuel. Okay, there is an encounter with Saturn. It does have an atmosphere. So let's time warp to like here so we can get a better view of the rings. And after all this, we are going to still land on Titan. We have our other probes still up here. Whoa, here we are in Saturn's rings. That's weird that it still looks like that. Let's get closer and we are going to enter Saturn. So here we are getting closer to the surface. Um, should we when should we break off? We can do it now. I don't want that to hit me. I don't think it will. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, here we go. Entering Saturn. See what this even looks like. Oh, okay. There is us entering and it looks very strange up close. All black. Oh, I guess we're on the shadowed side and definitely looks like the heat shield's gonna fail. <laughs> all right. Um, uh, all right. There is Saturn. Make it into Saturn first try is a yes. Bro forgot to slow down. We could. Should we try to? Should we try it again, but use the rest of the field to slow down? Okay, so we're back to here. So we're gonna wait for this again. And we're gonna try to slow down to see if we can get further into Saturn. So the best way to do that, I think, is gonna be get a really close orbit. So let's get this really close and then we will orbit really close. Okay, so we're getting a close orbit. Um, that should be fine. And then we're gonna time warp there. And this is gonna use a lot more fuel, but we'll be going in a lot slower. Okay, rotate around. This will take a while, I'm not even gonna lie. We're about to, we're about to get close enough to enter Saturn. The ion engines are so efficient though. We still have 69% fuel, nice. All right, so we're just going to keep slowing down until we start to enter. Honestly, the slower, the better. Let's just keep it going. The problem is we're still going 5,000. I still think we burn up. Let's run a prediction on it, actually. Do we burn up immediately like last time? If we make it decently deep, it'll be a no. If we burn up really quick, it's a yes. We're going really quick still. I'm going to keep burning. I wish I could time warp even quicker. Okay, here we go. Entering. We slowed down literally as much as we could. We got... We're going to start accelerating now because of the gravity. Okay, so what we need to do is break off our... Oh, zoom in, hurry. We need to get the heat shield. I'm going to clear debris just so that doesn't hit us. How deep are we going to make it? It's still going to burn up, right? We saw this last time. How far do we get? We never got close to the white. We didn't get into the white. Oh yeah, look, it's gonna burn up again. It's just too fast. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, just to see, just to see, we are gonna burn up. So the prediction is, are we gonna burn up immediately? Yes, but I'm gonna turn on no heat damage just to see what it looks like if we went deeper. Yeah, we would have burned up right there and been dead, but I wanna see what it looks like when we get up close. We're still 40 kilometers up from, I guess, the surface. Cheater, of course, yeah, it's cheating, but we're, we're trying to figure it out. Okay, so the heat shield does eventually slow you down enough. So if there was a way to slow down even more before entry, well, you slow down a lot. The atmosphere must be really thick. Okay, this is the surface. Is there a real surface here? I want to see if this is a solid surface. It probably, it probably is, dude. You go really slow. 
Maybe the heat shield will break and the probe will survive and it'll say we landed on Saturn. All right, here comes the surface. We're running a prediction. Is the surface solid? I actually don't know. Is it gonna, is it gonna be solid? Here we go. I can't hit it yet because we gotta wait for the prediction to be over. All right, we're pausing. What do you think? Is the surface solid? Most think no. Honestly, I think yes. I think it's gonna be yes. Let's see. Landed on the surface of Saturn. On the surface. This is not very realistic. And the, the heat shield absorbed the impact and we landed. Technically we landed on Saturn, even though that's not even possible. <gasps> yes, the surface is solid, that's crazy. All right, now we have our secondary mission for today, which is to land on Titan and see if there is the methane lakes. Uh, all right, so we're gonna use the rest of the fuel in here to navigate to Titan. Let's warp to a transfer window. It's not realistic. The surface, there's no surface of Saturn like that. I wonder how hard it would be. That would be like probably the hardest mission in the game to land on Saturn and return like with astronauts. It'd be like Venus, but much harder. Just gonna use RCS. Okay, there's our encounter. Um, so yeah, let's just warp to here, get into orbit and then just send the lander down. Okay, so Titan orbit first and then we break off. So the rocket was a little bit overbuilt uh, for this mission. We can honestly start entering the atmosphere, sure. Let's take a look at it. Wow. Okay. Are those supposed to be the methane lakes? Okay. Well, I just also realized that Earth has oceans, right? And there's no oceans in the game. So there's probably not any oceans on Titan, but we'll still check it out. Looks like Mars. Yeah, kind of. Let's try this though. Um, we'll quick save here. Prediction will be, can we land safely first try? Okay. So break off here and then just RCS to make sure we don't hit this. We're gonna open the legs, activate the engines, and then get going. Here we go. How much thrust do these things give? A decent amount. Okay. What did you guys, do you guys think? 99% of you think yes. I'm gonna crash on purpose to give the one person who put no all the all of your guys' chips. How's that sound? Last time I did it, last time I did it for the blueprint review, everyone was mad. And I even got comments on the YouTube video. People were mad and the creator of the rocket was mad. So I don't think I will learn my lesson. I will try. I'm not saying it's a guaranteed that I land this first try. Okay, so we are gaining some heat from the atmosphere. This should be a pretty easy landing. Uh, if we burn up though, not much I could do about that. I mean, I could slow down. All right, I'm gonna slow down to try to stop us from burning up. Okay, that saved it. You're welcome, I did that for you guys. All right, cancel our side velocity. So we'll just go straight down into it. Straight down now, not going super quick. We got plenty of fuel. We don't need to slow down yet. We're still this far away, we're fine. I could pilot a real mission to Titan. NASA, if you need someone to pilot a probe on Titan, I'm your guy. Check that out. Boom, easy. I saved your, all of your chips. All right, it is a yes. All right, so no methane lakes, but there's also no water on Earth. Hopefully Space Flight Simulator 2 has all the planets and we can try this again and see what that's like. Thank you all for coming to the stream today. As promised, I will show Winston. Look, say hi to everyone. All right, thank you all for coming today. All right, goodbye everyone. Spaceshipyt.com, we're working on some fall stuff. So uh, right now it's still the summer stuff. We got, we still have hoodies, still have shirts, stickers, buttons, but coming soon, probably in a couple weeks, we'll have some new stuff up on there. We're already working on it. Some cool stuff, real excited for it.